behind me is this Makita 36 volt leaf blower. And I bought this because as my regular viewers know, I'm getting into some hay production, which is of course very dusty and all your equipment at the end of the day, comes back with like piles of hay matted up on top of uh, pretty much anywhere that it can possibly collect. Now, different people will tell you there's different ways to, that are good to, for cleaning this up. And the general consensus is, Anything with water is to be avoided because if you take a pressure washer or something, you can wash the grease out of bearings and whatnot, and um, you know, and it leads to rust and it can cause bearings to go out and whatnot. I think that's probably a little bit overplayed, but as opposed to either having to hook up a pressure washer or drag an air hose from the shop out to wherever this machine is parked, or if it's a longer day or something and I want to clean this off halfway through the day, obviously if I'm out in the field, that's not much of an option. So in any of those cases, it's really, really nice to have a portable leaf blower like this. Now, I'm obviously not the first person to arrive at this conclusion. This is pretty standard stuff, and a lot of different people have different uh, blowers that are preferred by them. I bought this thing. I bought it. I'm not affiliated with, you know, Makita or whatever. And it's an initial review. Usually I don't really like to do these because there's not that much I can really say about the tool other than, you know, yeah, it works. It does what I thought it would. It's not a disappointment. But I like to make a review of something after I've actually gotten to use it for a while. But with this, you know, it's pretty simple. Either it works or it doesn't. And if it survives its first handful of uses, since it's essentially just a fan with a couple batteries, it'll probably last forever. And it has. So I got this thing. I'll tell you, I don't know exactly how long it will run on a full charge of batteries because I've never actually been coordinated enough to have two fully charged batteries in it at once. The small number of times which I have used this. And uh, except for when I did and I didn't use it long enough to run the batteries down even though I cleaned out my entire baler with this thing. And that was really the first time I got to try it out and it worked extremely, extremely well. Not only did I use this on my baler, I also used it on my seven foot rotary shredder and it kicked up so much dust and removed so much material so quickly. If you saw it from a distance and didn't know what was going on, you would have thought the house was on fire. So that was the first lesson in using these things. If you buy one, probably a good idea to pick up some dust masks. I gotta go either dig around here and see if I have some of those. I'll probably start with those little disposable ones, but I don't know if I have any, but whatever the case, this thing works extremely well and it does seem to be pretty power efficient. When I got this thing, it showed up one morning. Uh, I was sitting in my driveway in the tractor with the baler hooked up. I was going out to bale hay and uh, my phone rings. So I'm sitting there talking to someone on the phone and I see, I think it was UPS who delivered it or FedEx or whoever it was. This was several weeks ago now. Uh, they slow down and I'm like, hey, I bet my leaf blower's here. And sure enough, it was. So while I'm talking on the phone, I, uh, I unbox this thing, I get it set up and I see that the batteries, this particular package comes with four batteries and the charger as well, which in my case is over here. Uh, and it, it works out really well because this way you get two batteries that can sit on the charger and go with you as extras, you know, if you wear down the two in the machine and you know, you have the other two in the machine itself. But whatever the case, I get this thing and I see that each of the batteries, they arrive with only a quarter charge. But I say to myself, well, I'm leaving, so I might as well take this thing with me, right? 
and I'm glad I do. I put this in, that's the other thing. This thing rides in a steel box on the back of my baler. The, anyone familiar with uh, round balers would know this is where, at least on a New Holland machine, where you're supposed to store the extra net wrap. My net wrap is too wide to fit in there, however, so therefore I put this thing in there and usually an extra fire extinguisher as well. So it's banging around in there and every time the baler the tailgate goes up to drop a bale. This thing like goes up with it and it's rolling around in there. It seems to be holding up just fine. It's not ideal, but that's really the only place I have to take it with me. And as you can see, it gets kind of dusty, but it doesn't seem to care. But then again, I haven't used it that much. So whatever the case, I get this thing loaded up, I leave, I make it like two miles up the road and the tractor starts overheating. I'm like, oh man, I was mowing. I don't, I don't think I've cleaned the, uh, the grates out in front of the radiator since, uh, you know, since either I mowed or raked or whatever the case and there's gonna be a bunch of dust and seeds and whatnot in there, so. <sighs> so I, I knew I kinda had to improvise. I, uh, I pulled over in a dollar store parking lot and I, uh, you know, I pop the hood on the tractor, I pull the screens out from in front of the radiator, I knock a bunch of crap loose, and I get this thing out, and there I am, you know, having owned it for 15 minutes at this point in time, using batteries that are a quarter charge to blow out the, uh, the radiator and the screen and everything. They don't need, need, uh, you know, a leaf blower for that. If I just knocked the stuff out of the screens, it probably would have been fine, but it sure was nice, because I was able to do that, then remove a whole bunch of dust and seeds and dead grass and whatnot from around the rest of the engine, which certainly didn't hurt anything and probably helped quite a bit and even with these batteries being at the time a quarter charge they uh, they had the power and the longevity to get through cleaning that as well as I wanted to and then I went about the rest of my day and everything was great and for whatever it's worth this is my random review for you guys for the day I hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to rate comment and subscribe for more the Makita whatever model this is two battery leaf blower thing Two thumbs up. I can only do one because you know I'm holding the camera with the other. Uh, I'll put some links in the video description. If you guys do decide to buy this on Amazon, the link to that is of course an affiliate link. So if you buy any, that, this or anything else on there, the channel earns a small commission, helps make non-sponsored content like this possible. But whatever the case, um, yeah, I mean it helps out. It's appreciated. Uh, but you know I don't make a living off of affiliate links for leaf blowers, so whatever. And I bought this because I needed it. But anyway. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. If you do end up with something like this, remember your dust masks. <laughs> and uh, have a great day, everyone.